So this is an interesting case of a five-month-old who has a history of aniridia and congenital glaucoma, uh, status post-tube implantation, and a cataract that was removed in addition to a vitrectomy. So this patient is aniridic, aphakic, and avitric with subsequent endothelial failure. Uh, so instead of pursuing a full thickness penetrating keratoplasty, we thought we would uh, try a DSEC first in this patient. So here we've got the graph flipped over and we mark the edges of where the uh, micro keratome incisions were. Uh, we're using a uh, 8.25 uh, donor punch there. And here's the uh, scleral rim that's been removed. So the cornea in this uh, patient's eye was very, very hazy, so we decided that we would uh, stain the graft with tripan that will help us visualize it once we're in the eye. So I stained the endothelium there, and then now I'm actually putting my probe underneath uh, to stain the stroma as well. We start by making a paracentesis, and uh, we use an anterior chamber maintainer. And then we continue to make uh, two more paracentesis, one inferiorly and one superiorly. So we use a reverse Sinsky hook here uh, just to try to score the uh, endothelium in the area in which we're going to try to remove it. As this patient is so young, it's uh, very difficult because the decimase membrane is so densely ad adherent to the cornea to actually perform a full stripping maneuver. Um, here we make a main wound temporally and extend it. Here's folding the DSEC graft and what we do here is using a CTC6 10O proline needle, we pass suture uh, partial thickness through the end of the graft as shown there. Next, we take the corneal specimen and transport it into our field. orient it properly so the sutures are next to the cornea and now we're passing the CTC6 needle through our main wound and into the edge of our previously made marking and it's very important to try to keep your orientation correct here because you do not want to crisscross inside the eye And there's our second pass. And this is very, very carefully <coughs> pulled. Uh, and this should help put the graft into place. As soon as it gets into place, the flow from the anterior chamber maintainer just essentially opens the, the graft there and puts it in its correct orientation. Next, we suture the main wound closed. Then here we're using a reverse Sinsky hook to essentially pull the graft over um, and then we remove the anterior chamber maintainer. It's very hard to have fluid currents in the eye, especially since there's no formed anterior chamber. And next what we do is we inject uh, SF6 into the eye to help provide some tamponade to hold the graft into position. The graft is still a little decentered there, so we're going back in to uh, properly center it. Once it's all centered, uh, we cut the CTC6 needles off the suture. And tie a knot, not too tight. 
this suture will be removed in this patient uh, one week later at a scheduled EUA. <coughs> Here we'll continue to kind of pressurize the eye, injecting a little more SF6. And using uh, the cannula on the BSS bottle to help remove any fluid in the interface. Anyways, thanks for watching.